So here's an O2 Chevy dash bezel that we're building. We already uh, cut down our iPad mini kit and uh, we actually cut the dash bezel to fit it. You take these, uh, separate these here. You can see there's the cut in the bezel. In this particular one, we're going to be doing a radio mount in it, so we already have our built on spacer on the back of the kit for it. And uh, we're going to actually bond these two together and get it going. Okay, so what we did is we actually we took our uh, iron and we actually uh, plastic welded, as you can see here, we plastic welded the actual kit to the bezel. We did it in the main corners, and then what we did is we took our took our glue, our ABS glue, and we actually glued the seam all the way around, um, and we did that front and in back. And then now what we're going to do is we're going to go back, and now I'm going to plastic weld the entire seam all the way around front and back as well, grind that smooth, and then we'll be ready for the glass. Okay, phase. so you can see that we actually plastic welded it all the way around, and we did it front and back on the back side. It's actually welded on the back side, all the way around. We, uh, we actually grinded it down flat and smooth. We masked off the entire inside edge of the kit just to keep any debris out of the kit while we're doing the process of all the bodywork. And now that we got uh, this thing set in place, uh, we're ready to put on our mar glass and uh, get it smoothed out. Okay, so now what we did to help shape the dash because the kit stuck up above the dash so much on this particular year with O2 um, we actually added some plastic to the top and then we uh, used a torch and we actually reshaped it a little bit and gave it a little bit of a radius and a curve to follow the dash and then we actually uh, glued that in with our ABS plastic and then plastic welded it all up added a little bit of fillers and stuff in here that way we're not using a bunch of glass but uh, now we're ready to put the glass back on and uh, get it all smoothed okay, out. So after we added our plastic filler panels, we actually put on our mar glass and uh, we just we coated it. We actually filled the seam all the way around where we had that little uh, separation in the panel. Um, and then we actually sanded it down with a, with a 100 grit and then a 220. And then we went back over just very lightly, as you can see with some of these areas here with very lightweight like Rage Gold body filler. And then again, sanded it down with a 100 and then a 220. And now we're going to uh, hit it with some heavy fill primer, about three or four heavy coats, and then sand that out. And we'll move on to the next phase. So as you can see here, <clears throat> we finished our glass. We sanded that down and then we sprayed it with a few coats of fill primer. And then once that cured, we actually wet sanded that with the 220 to smooth out some of the bumps and more of the grain on the bezel. And then we actually put a couple more heavy coats on it. And then this is where it is right now. So now it's uh, very smooth. So get things ready to go. We're gonna just wet sand this with about a 400 and then we'll spray it with some base color and then it'll be uh, ready to go. So here is the finished bezel for the O2 Silverado. You can see we have it all sprayed and. Uh, we based it in black. Uh, we actually sprayed it after we wet sanded the primer. We sprayed it in black once um, with two full coats and then we let that sit. We then wet sanded it and then uh, sprayed it again and then it's all done. We actually uh, also put the tabs on the back for the radio mount. You can see that the radio will actually just mount and push in from the back with the ISO tabs there. Um, but if there it is and uh, if you're looking for any information on uh, iPad mini kits or full size kits tablet kits for Android. We have them on our website at fivefieldfabrications.com or fivefieldfab.com. Thanks a lot.